All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Ark. Oh, yeah. So I was just over here collecting some stuff. Uh, thank you guys very much for your comments on the last episode, on the very first episode, actually. Your tips and tricks, very, very useful. Uh, people are suggesting that I turn up the harvest rate and things like that. I tried it with the harvest rate turned all the way up, and I just felt like that was just giving me way too much stuff. Uh, so 3.0 is too much. I turned it down to... Uh, 2.0, so we're getting a bit more resources for harvesting things. Um, yeah, I would suggest that I do that since we're doing single player. And normally when you're playing this with a group of people, uh, you get a lot of resources quicker. So yeah, that's why we did that. Uh, so yeah, I'm collecting some more resources, trying to get re-equipped over here. I got a bunch of fiber. I think we are ready to make our first bit of armor. I think it's almost about daytime. I was seeing the moon a moment to go. Now it's gone down. It seems like the... Horizon's getting a bit lighter, so I think uh, we're about ready to become day again. Uh, it says that we're cold. Maybe we should set up our fire once again. Our fuel burned out. Uh, so let's see. We want to put, I don't know, a few pieces of wood in there. That's fine. Uh, we did get two pieces of charcoal from this. I'm not sure what we can do with that just yet, but we're holding on to it. All right, so back into this menu. We're going to craft up a shirt so we can actually have something to wear. I assume that's going to provide a little bit of armor. Uh, maybe it'll just make it so we don't get cold as much. I don't know. Uh, so torso, we can't do that. Uh, how do we do that? Double click. Oh, I double click and I craft it. Um, your equipped items. So how do I equip that? Oh, right, right, right. Hold on a second. We have to go to our inventory because we crafted it. There it is. All right, so torso and craftables. Double click the pants. All right, so we're crafting that up. And we will put on pants. All right. So another thing, uh, I think it's K. Yeah, we hit K. Now we can see ourselves. <laughs> That's what we're looking like. Holding the hatchet. Don't mess with us. Uh, so, was there anything else that we needed to craft that we haven't crafted yet? Uh, we do have a spear that we can make. It. Let's see. We're missing a little bit of fiber. Okay, so we need to harvest some more plants. Yeah, we use all that fiber to make our armor, or I guess our shirt and our pants, not really armor, is it? Uh, so, oh, equip fist, right, 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 we'll do the torch since it's still kind of nighttime. Alright, so we got 14 fiber there, 16, yeah, we're getting a lot of berries and stuff. Oh, we gotta level up, nice! Okay, I think we should have enough fiber now. I kind of want to back away from the jungle a little bit there. Not feeling too safe standing next to it. Can't really see what's through those trees. Okay, I think we're good right here. So we will go back into our inventory screen. Uh, let's make this spear. I assume this is going to be a better weapon than the pick and hatchet. And let's see. We will equip that. Let's put that on number three, actually. So I can easily move from WASD over to uh, the spear when we need it. So torch, I will stick on the number zero slot because that's normally where I keep it when I play Minecraft. So we'll just continue that here. Uh, let's see, what else can we do here? Craftables, we have the campfire made, we've done that. Uh, we don't really need a pick or a hatchet at the moment. I think we're good. How are we doing on food? Our hunger is pretty low. We should eat some stuff. Now people were saying <laughs> that I should not eat narco berries. So we're going to take those off the hot bar. Yeah, narco berries make you sleepy. They increase your topor, which is when that's high enough, you, like, pass out or whatever. You get knocked out. Um, so, yeah, we're not going to do that. So we got some berries. We'll hit five a few times. All right, we have to level up as well. Uh, fortitude, I think we're going to level this up as, as much as we can. Okay, so there we go. We got nine engram points. Right, so what else should we learn? Thatch. I heard thatch is something we should avoid and we should wait for wood. So I think we're going to do that. Wooden sign. Sleeping bag. Hmm. So maybe cloth hat and cloth boots and gloves. Maybe those would be good to learn. Um, and a water skin. Well, the water skin would mean we wouldn't need water that often. But since we're staying near the shore or I guess the ocean, we don't need to worry about that just yet. Let's go and learn the rest of this clothing. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so now we can make a hat, gloves, and uh, shoes. 
So craftables, are we able to... Okay, we can craft that up real quick. We have 26 fiber. I guess we're down to 16 now. And we cannot craft anything else. So for making the shoes, we need hide. Ah, okay, that makes sense. And for the gloves, we need hide as well. So I guess we need to go and find ourselves some dodos. We'll put the hat on. Yep, we're looking stylish now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So it is daytime. I think we're good to kind of... Well, I guess it's morning, right? I think we're good to kind of walk around a little bit. I see... I see reflections of the sun, but I don't even see the sun. So I don't know where that reflection's coming from. It seems kind of a, like a bug to me. Uh, I guess we'll walk around with the spear in case anything tries to jump out and get at us. So yeah, let's go and see if we can get ourselves a little bit of hide so we can make shoes and gloves. Seems like a good thing to start with. Okay, I haven't seen any animals around here at all. No, nothing at all. So we will just keep a lookout for like dodos and things like that. Another thing people were telling me is the northern part of the map is more difficult and the southern part of the map is easier. There's less hostile dinosaurs that spawn in the, the southern area. And apparently we have respawned both times in the northern area. So we're playing this on hard mode. Go us. <laughs> Let's actually kind of walk over here just a little bit. See what's over this hill, if anything. Yep, I don't see anything. This whole place seems devoid of all life at all. Except for us. Because we can... Oh, I was going to say, I guess we could eat things as we're walking around, but since we got the spear out, we can't do that. I guess we can put the spear away, right? We'll just kind of eat stuff as we're walking, get some berries and fiber and things like that. Okay, so we our berries are spoiling, but that doesn't really matter if we're just constantly grabbing it as we're going, walking around. Uh, yeah, I think right now we are definitely looking for a hide. That should be our number one priority. And there's a beam over there. Yeah, those beams of light are different colors, and I think the ones that we need are the ones that are white. The blue ones and the red ones or whatever are uh, different survivor levels. So we won't be able to touch any of that stuff till a little bit later. I think we're now level 3. I believe we've ranked up twice. Okay. Still not seeing any dinosaurs or anything around here, which is kind of weird. Oh, there's a, a flying dinosaur. Yeah, I think that'll kill us if we fall off here. I see stuff swimming around the water down there. I don't know if that is, if those are just little fish or if those are like dinos or whatever. Um, really don't want to go down there and find out. I do kind of want to get off this cliff though, but not the fast way. <laughs> I don't want to kill ourselves. Oh, okay, so there's some turtles over there. Maybe we should go hang out over that area. Let's see if we can navigate a way down off of this ridge. Yeah, I see more turtles over there. Okay. I haven't seen any hostile animals yet. So that's a good sign. Uh, hopefully there's going to be some dodos and things down there that we can get some quick hide from. Okay. Let's get the spear out just in case. Yeah, a lot of the flying dinos over here. Not sure what's making that sound. If it's this guy? Oh, there's another dude over here. I didn't even see this guy. You friendly? Wild female carbonimus? <laughs> I don't even know how to say that. Okay, so we'll just call these guys turtles because that's what they look like. They seem like they are passive, which is good. Oh, okay. Okay, so we need to keep our distance. I'm not sure what that is, but it does not look friendly. So we don't want to go over and say hello to that guy. Oh man. Can we get a look at it anyway? Actually no, I think that might be a friendly dino. It doesn't look like a hostile one anyway. Oh, turtle. Yeah, I think that one is fine to hang around actually. Um, so yeah, we're looking for small animals like dodos or whatever. Try and get some hide from. That seems like a different type of rock. Is that different or is that just... Almost looks like basalt or something. I don't know. Oh, here's something. I think... Okay, we got dodos over here. Nice. This is what we're looking for. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Die! 
Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Um, okay, so we got some hide and some raw meat off of there. Good. So we can cook up that raw meat if we get back to our campfire. Alright, here's another dodo. Yeah, so apparently these guys don't fight back at all, so they are just easy for us to uh, get resources from, which is pretty cool. Three hide, three raw meat again. Uh-huh. Oh, what is this guy? This looks like an easy dinosaur to get. Oh, he tried to spit at or she tried to spit at me. Aha, we got it, we got it. We almost died, but we got it. So we got raw meat and three hide. Nice. Alright, let's eat some food here. Um, five. Okay, I'm not sure how many of those we actually need to eat if our uh, hunger bar goes up slowly over time or how that works. Uh, but our health is definitely about half, so we don't want to attack anything that's going to fight back uh, just yet. <laughs> uh, kind of waiting for our health, our, yeah, our health to regen. I don't know how long that takes. I mean, it is slowly going up. I can see that. I'm trying to put it on something where I can see it a little bit better. There we go. Um, yeah, it looks like we're about... Two-thirds health right now. Yeah, I don't think we want to attack anything just yet. We will try and avoid that guy. Maybe he won't see us. Can we even get through here? <laughs> kind of looks like we can. Whoop, we're stuck. I'm moving backwards. <laughs> That's weird. Oh, this was a mistake. I should not have gone in here. Can we get up on this rock and over? Okay, I think we're good. I don't think that dino sees us. All right, so I think we're just gonna walk the coast back around to where our campfire was. Um, actually, I guess we could craft stuff right here, right? There's no reason to go back to our campfire to craft things. Is there anything around? I see a dodo over here. Maybe we'll get this other dodo. Uh, oh, well, we do need to go back to the campfire actually to cook our meat, right? I don't know how long it's going to take before it spoils, and I don't want it to spoil. Level two dodo, you're dead. Okay. Whoa, a little bit of lag. I think we're fine though. Yeah, the game definitely paused there for a second. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Obviously, it's thinking about something. Is there anything else over here? No, I think we're good for a moment. Okay, so let's go into our inventory. Uh, craftables, let's do... We'll do the boots. So we have... Oh, it takes six. So we own five? What? Oh, maybe we're left with five after doing that. Okay, so we're going to have to kill a few more animals to make our gloves, I do believe. So we'll put the boots on. There we go. Uh, hands, we still need... What are we missing for that? Oh, we just need more fiber. We got plenty of, of the hide. Okay, so we need to go find ourselves a plant or something like that. Go collect some more berries. Oops. I defecated. Everybody poops. Oh, we can't <laughs> move it around. Uh, okay, so we need to unequip our spear, and then we just need to eat a bunch of plants to get some fiber going on. Oh, that's stone. That's not fiber. Okay, is that enough? I'm not sure. Yeah, upping... To harvest this, you need something... Oh, I think I was pointed at the tree, or I thought I was pointed at the tree. Stem berries. Okay. Very good, very good. Okay, let's go and craft this now. We should have everything we need. Yeah, we need 20. We got 42. That's more than enough. And where is it? Down here. Awesome. Okay, so now we're fully geared up as far as cloth armor goes. <laughs> not sure how well that protects us, but I'm sure that's better than not having any clothing at all. Right, so I do want to get back to our campfire, see if we can cook up some meat and have something a little bit better to eat than berries. Hopefully that'll refill our hunger more or uh, make our health regenerate faster. I'm really not sure how the food works. If, like, your health just regenerates at a certain rate no matter what, or if you eat different foods, if you regenerate health faster, that would be pretty cool if you could do that. Uh, I did see that there were, like, uh, different types of foods that you can, you can cook, 
that'll give you like water breathing or at least extend the amount of time underwater you can breathe. Um, or I guess hold your breath would be more accurate, right? Uh, yeah, there's lots of cool things like that that you can do, but that's going to be way later on. We have to learn how to craft those things. We can't just craft them right away. Okay, so here's our campfire. Let us put in a little bit of wood. Let's see. Oh, inventory. Hide wood. We got a bunch of wood. We'll just drop in a lot of this stuff. That'll take some wheat off of us. So we'll light the fire. Take this charcoal out. And where's our our food? Raw meat, 13. I guess we'll just cook that up. Um, I'm not sure. Does the, does the cooked food come over here when it's done? Is this even how we cook food? I assume this is how we cook the food. <laughs> uh, maybe we should do like one at a time, actually. Spoiled meat? No, it says it's raw meat. Okay, we got charcoal. It says it's consumable. Do we even put it in like this, or do we do something else? Hold for more options. Put out fire, access inventory, demolish. So access inventory. Oh, okay, so it just turns into cooked meat. I see. So let's put a few in there. We don't want to spoil, we want it to cook up. So, oh, the fire went out. I was like, what was that sound? <laughs> I must have accidentally put it out. Uh, let's go ahead and equip the cooked meat. I guess we will put that over here on nine. That sounds good. And if we do nine, that thing is moving. What is that? It's a trilobite. Uh-oh. Are you aggressive? Die, Trilobite! Oh, I broke my spear. Okay, so that thing's got a shell on it. <laughs> I don't think we can break through its shell. It broke our spear. Dang. Okay, now we know. Now we know. I guess the fight's over. I was wondering why that music was still playing, but, uh... Okay. So, whoops, uh, I keep hitting the wrong button on there. E for more options. Access inventory. Okay. Oh, there's another slot that opens up. I see. Where is our, okay, our cooked meat goes down here. I was thinking it would show in this inventory still. Let's just put all the cooked meat in there, or I guess all the raw meat will cook that up. So if we hit nine, that's going to allow us to eat food. And our hunger bar raises up quite nicely there. It looks like it went up about a quarter. All right, so that's pretty good. I like that a little bit more than the berries, that's for sure. Uh, so yeah, I think we should just keep walking around. We need to get experience so we can learn more Ingram, so we can build some more stuff, really. Uh, maybe we should try and find some smaller dinos to hunt. Um... I'm not really not sure how far in we can go without running into like crazy powerful guys. Okay, we got music that just started. What is that? Did we discover something? Or is it just random background music for no reason? Okay, it says I'm hot. Should find a place to cool off. Yeah, did we discover something? Is that why that music played? I don't know. I was thinking there might be a cave or something over here, but it doesn't really look like it. Okay, I should probably get back to the ocean before I get lost in the jungle. Uh, I can hit M, I think, to bring up the map. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, we're definitely on the northern part of the map. Um, okay, well, at least that's kind of where we are. We told it to spawn us in a random location. I think it spawned us in the same spot. I assume the map continues to uncover stuff even when you like die and respawn and things like that um okay well i am going to make a quick cut here i'm gonna try and just discover some stuff and i'll bring you guys back in if there's anything else to see and do here in just a little bit all right guys so we're just still walking around the beach here looking for other things to to kill i guess well, Dodo level 4. Now, I hear you can knock things out if you punch them. I guess you punch them in the head or whatever. So let's try doing that. See if we can knock out the Dodo. Okay. So wild female, tameable by Bob. Gender female, unconscious. Put food in inventory to tame. 
So E to access the inventory. Um, so we can do a saddle, it looks like. So food in the inventory to team. The only food I have is this cooked meat. I don't know if we can tame it using that. I guess we can try it. Does this show us anything? Is this our food or their food? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything here. So that's our current stuff. Take all, drop all. If we look at it, does it show us anything? Okay, it says there's food. Okay. Unconscious, putting food in inventory to tame. So I guess we'd want to put narco berries in its inventory. Um, I guess we take the food out. And that keeps it tamed longer? Or do we, can we put both in there? Oh, okay, we can put both in there. I don't think I want to put all of my food in there. We'll give it a couple of the cooked meats and some narco berries. Oh, no, that's the seeds. That's not, okay. So there's a the narco berry. So what is this doing? Does this show us any more information? Um, the food's going down quite quickly. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't see where it's telling us, like, how well we're doing as far as taming it goes. There's food in the inventory. We have narco berries in its inventory as well. Do we have to put more in there? Um... Yeah, I don't know what else to do. So it says it's unconscious. I guess we'll find out when it wakes up, if it does wake up, or if those narco berries are going to do what we want it to do. Uh, yeah, just woke back up. Alright, so let's punch it again. Oh, I killed it. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll have to learn how to properly tame these things in the future, I suppose. Uh, I don't really know if a dodo would do much to us, or do much for us if we were to tame it. Uh, might be able to hold some inventory, possibly. Um, but as far as, like, being something that will help us be defensive, I don't think so. So there's another dino over here. Another thing I found out with the spear, if you hold right click, you can pull it back, and I suppose we can just launch it, but then we'll lose the weapon. Gotcha! Oh, don't spit at me, don't spit at me. Oh, do we get it? We got it. And we got a level up. Awesome. So I think we lost our spear, right? Or do we get it back? No, we got it back. Okay. Uh, so it's dead. That was a level 20. All right. So that's not too bad. Let's go and get some hide off of this thing. Some more meat, some more hide. I think we did a little bit better that time. I think the, uh, the cloth armor that we have, the cloth clothing, actually helped us with a bit of defense. Okay, very good. Uh, so fortitude, that probably also helped out a bit. Let's try Is this guy coming over to us. No, okay. I thought he was walking towards us. <laughs> let's move. Uh, yeah, let's move up our movement speed a little bit. I think that'll be good. Uh, so we got eight ingram points. Let's see. Unlearned thatch door slingshot. Ooh, that sounds good. Saddle storage box. Okay, you know I think that's something we want. Let's do a storage box so we can put stuff away and not have to carry it on us all the time. Uh, spark powder. Or and pestle. Uh, blood extraction syringe. Narcotic. Okay, so that might be what we need actually to keep the uh, that dodo tamed or knocked out. Uh, Multi-panel flag. I don't think we need that. Oop, I think we just... Uh, defecated again. Wooden wall. Wooden foundation. Ooh, this is stuff that I want too. Okay, we'll do the storage box now. And we will learn this stuff when we level up again. We can build ourselves like some kind of a shelter or whatever. Uh, to keep the dinos out and try and be safe. Yeah, a little bit of, uh, a little poo there. That's what happened. So there's another dino up here. I think we're gonna go and try and take on one more of these guys. Sounds like a plan to me. What's up, buddy? How you... Gotcha! Oh, he's... He tried spitting at me! We're not gonna let him spit on us! Alright, that wasn't too bad at all. But that was a level 2 guy. So we got 10 hide and 2 raw meat. Wow! That's a lot of stuff. Alright, so that might just be because we turned up the, uh, the gathering or whatever. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to make it back to our camp. I'm going to cook up that meat. We definitely want to have uh, cooked meat. In fact, how is our hunger doing? 
We need to put that back on the bar. Cooked meat, number nine. We'll eat two of those. That should go ahead and fill up our hunger bar most of the way anyway. Okay, so yeah, we'll make it back over to our campfire and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so we made it back here to the fire. I was chopping down fallen trees and stuff on the way over here. Now we're encumbered. We just have too much stuff on us. So we did make a thing. What? It, where is it? Storage box. There we go. So we got enough stuff to make one of these. I think we definitely need to make one of these. So let's craft that item here. And hopefully we'll be able to drop off some of our inventory into that and save our weight. Uh, storage box. Put that on number eight. Uh, number eight. So where can we put this guy? I guess we'll just stick it right here on the ground. No? Okay, so there we go. Uh, not uh, really in a location that looks really nice or whatever, but we don't even have a building or anything to put that down uh, in a nice way. So we're just going to do this. So I think we're just going to... Is there a way that I can put in multiple at a time? Or I guess I could put it all in there and then double click it back to my inventory for some that I want on me. So that makes sense. Hide. Yeah, we'll stick the hide in there. We don't need that on a stone. That's probably pretty heavy stuff. We don't need that on us thatch. Uh, Dino glasses skin. So that's just item skins that we have on us. Uh, yeah, we made that extra shirt, right? We don't need that. So yeah, our inventory's looking a little bit better. <laughs> Not as quite as many stuff on us. Uh, the raw meat that we have, let's go ahead and start cooking that up as well. 18 of those guys, and we'll put the fire and we'll light that, very good. So we should have a bunch of cooked meat here in a little while that will sustain us for at least the near future, which is pretty awesome. All right guys, well it looks like we've reached the end of the day. It's about to become nighttime. Not a whole lot to do at nighttime. It's pretty dark. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think we're going to go and end the episode here. I've had a lot of fun in ARC. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, be sure to hit that like button if you did like this episode and you want to see more in the future. But that's all we got time for for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like. See you next time. Bye-bye, guys.